Hello, students. Good morning. Uh, let's start off with some rock, paper, scissor. So please turn on your cameras so we can play some rock, paper, scissor to see who is victorious in the morning. Who will be the winner? Let's see who can beat the teacher today. Are we ready? <clears throat> So we go one, two, three, shoot. Okay. One, two, three, and then shoot. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, shoot. Ah, hey, it's only Kao Kao Home. That's the only winner today that beat the teacher. Well done. Uh, everybody, turn on. Chao Eung. Please turn on your videos so we can see you. Um, okay, today we're going to do English, but of English grammar, but we have to write the test. Okay, we have to write the test. So, I will, I will quickly go through the work that we have already done. We'll quickly go through and um, then I will give you the link to where you must write the test. To where you must write the test. For those that are coming in now, please change your screen name. Please change your name to your nickname, please. Okay, so let's quickly have a look at what we did in the past two videos. Past two videos. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because we have looked at it twice now. So this is number three. But we have to look at this to make sure we understand the test. So unit one, we had talked about our different types of nouns, our countable nouns and our non-countable nouns. What are countable nouns? Can anyone tell me what are countable nouns? Who can tell me? Countable nouns are things that you can count, like, let's say, apples or students or pens. It's something you can count, or glasses or chairs or tables. Something you can count is a countable noun. An uncountable noun is something that we cannot usually count, like milk or sugar or water. Those are type of uncountable nouns. Let's say coffee is an uncountable noun, but a cup of coffee is a countable noun. So if you look at the positive and the negative ones, positive ones, there is a strawberry Strawberry being the countable noun, there is a strawberry or an apple. Negative, there is not a strawberry, there is not an apple. And in the question, is there a strawberry, is there an apple? 
for our uncountable nouns, our positive, there is some milk. Negative, there is not any milk. And question, is there any milk? Okay, those are the three. We looked at these exercises on page eight. Choose the correct words. words. Number one, are there and or any mangoes? Are there any mangoes? There is not any sugar. Let's make some tea. We do not need any lemon. I will get some butter for you. Elsa would like an orange. Do they have any juice? Arlie is ordering a steak. So those were just a couple that we looked at. I'm not going to do all the exercises again because we have done them in the videos. So I just want to talk about our topics. Okay. And then I will give you the link to the test. So these are some more exercises. <clears throat> The second part we looked at was how much or how many? How much or how many? Yeah, it's good to listen now because this questions will be on the test. You have to write it down, okay? Will be on the test. So how many we always use with countable nouns? like pens, like chairs, like tables, like shirts or pants. You can count them. So how many we use with countable nouns? So if we ask a question, hmm, how many bananas are there? How many is our quantifier that we use with countable nouns? How many? Countable nouns. How much? Uncountable nouns. So, for example, milk. How much milk is there? Or how much cheese is there? Is not countable because we cannot count the amount of milk. So we use how much. And if, if there's not enough, if you listen carefully, you will get these questions. If, if there's not enough for countable nouns, we say there are few bananas. There are few bananas, meaning there's not enough for everyone. And if there's a little bit, a small quantity, there are a few bananas. There are a few bananas. Okay, and for a large quantity, when we have a lot of bananas, there are a lot of bananas. There are a lot of bananas. That's for the countable nouns. If we look at the uncountables, the cheese, the milk, the water, the coffee, those are uncountable. We said we use how much for a question, but what if we don't have enough? We say there is little cheese, there is little cheese, or there is little milk, meaning there is not enough milk. If there's a small quantity, a little bit, only a small quantity, we say there is a little cheese, or there is a little milk. A little cheese, a little milk, meaning just a little bit. If we have a large quantity, we always say there is a lot of cheese or there is a lot of milk. That means when we have a lot. Okay, these are our 
countable and uncountable grammar rules for quantifiers. Let's just look at some of these questions. How much butter is there? Butter, uncountable. Who can tell me? Is carrots countable or uncountable? Can anyone tell me? Is carrots countable or uncountable? Anyone, take a guess. Is a carrot countable or uncountable? Can you count carrots or can you not count carrots? What do we think? Countable. Countable. It is countable, very good. For those that are coming in new, uh, I, will, I will explain uh, our test in just a moment, okay? Just, we'll, we'll, we'll write the test today for the new ones. Uh, we will explain that to you shortly. We are just going through the work of the previous two lessons. So if a carrot is countable, what will we use for this sentence? How much, how many, which one will we use? if a carrot is countable. Which one will we use if a carrot is countable? How much, how many? Everyone, uh, are you here? Um, let, let, let me uh, yes. answer. Is carrots, okay, we said carrots are countable nouns. So for number, for this exercise, uh, for number how two. Many? Say again, sorry. How many? How many? How Why? Many? Why? Three. Why do we say how many? Because it is countable. And that is correct. It is how many? That is the correct answer. Okay. Look at the bottom part. The bottom part here. We will also have some questions that look like this on our test. So let's have a look at a few examples. Um, what do we say when there is not enough money? Dan has little money. Money is usually seen as a uncountable noun. Uncountable. Because it's just a value. How about at the bottom? We have some rice. What do we think? Rice is uncountable because it's too many. So what do we think? Uncountable is we use the little part. But if it's a lot, we use a lot of for both. But this one is, give me a little rice, please. Just a, a little bit, just a little bit. Not too much. Give me a little rice, please. And last one, pens. Pens are countable. So here we'll say there are a lot of pens. There are a lot of pens. Okay. One more example I want to do before we do the last part is rearrange words in the correct order. Can everyone see the screen on page 13? Can you see? Hello, can we see? 
Can we see the screen, anyone? anyone yeah. There? So let's look at rearrange words to form a sentence. Two very important rules that you can use here. Number one, a sentence always starts with what? A sentence always starts with what? Who can tell me? What do we call the first letter of this word here? A sentence always starts with a capital letter. A capital letter. Very important. And a sentence always ends with what? There are three. Three options. A sentence ends with what? You can tell me. Anyone? Anyone? What does the sentence start with? A capital letter. What does it end with? Come on, let's let's hear some answers. What does it end with? Either a full stop. A what? A question mark or an exclamation mark. Sentence always ends with those, those three. Let's look at an option number two here for our exercise, for an example. Who can tell me what is the word with a capital letter in this sent in this word here? Which one, excuse me, which one has a capital letter? Anyone want to try? Or should we rather just write the test and not go on with the work and just see how we do on the test? No one wants to give an answer. Okay. Then I think it's time for us. If no one wants to participate, then uh, I think it's time. Let's just write the test. Then, then we can see. This test will also count for your score. So um, this test is about what we was busy looking at and what we have looked at. I will send you the link to the test now. Please try and complete it and submit it when you are finished, uh, everyone. So in the chat, that's where the test will be. Um, I will also add the test on the line group so that we can also tell the students that might not be here to do the test as well. So I'm going to send the link to the test on the line group as well now. And then, uh, yes, just inform us on the line group when you have finished so we can mark it. And then I will get back to you with the answers in our uh, next lesson for those that have completed it. But I'm sure some will only see it on the video on YouTube. Student, do you understand? Does everyone understand? Do you yes. Have Ah, do you yes. Have yes. Yes. Do we have any questions? Do you have any questions? No. No, no questions. Okay, so I assume we all understand. 
I'll be here. You can start the test now. Uh, I will be here for another eight minutes, but this video is going to end in eight minutes. So if you have a question, then you can ask me on uh, online. Just message me. Just message me online if you have a question. But I will be here for the next seven or eight minutes. So if you have a question, then you can ask. But you guys can start with your test. คุณบูครับเหรียญสิต้องใส่ชื่อในที่ทีเชอร์ส่งลิงก์มาไม่ได้อะครับเนี่ยเกิดเข้าไปใส่ไม่ได้หนูก็ใส่ไม่ได้อ่ะหนูก็ใส่ไม่ได้ยินช้อยให้เลือกสองคออยากตรงไหนเนี่ยจะต้องมีชิ้นโอเคเดี๋ยวครูแก้ไขค่ะดูจอยพัดดิจอยฮอตอ่ะฮอตแทงไมวะลมตกวูมเนี่ยมันก็ติดไปรอบแท้ไอ้พอททำไรเนี่ยไหนอะทำเสียงมันเด็กพอดแต่แต่แต่แต่แต่แต่อุ้ยน้องโอเคสอนทีเชอร์เซตแม่ฮะอันนี้เขาถามว่าอะไรเหรอ She should be okay now to like then I go on it now. So yeah, you can go on to the link now and uh, good luck. Yeah. Have fun and try your best. Peace. We will be sending a new one. Me. Okay, we will send a new test in, in five minutes or so. We are going to send a new test. Oh. If you have questions, please yeah. ask me Sorry. online. <laughs> Uh, good luck. Oh. Have fun. And uh, yeah. later. yes. Why I can type a name? Uh, teacher, 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 she will quickly <laughs> and we will send a new link. We will send okay. a new link. Okay. Okay. Hey, good. Good luck. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.